today I want to come out and address one of actually a couple of comments that I was getting on the video I did regarding the video from Facebook where the officer pulled a young man out of the car and I spoke about the guy that actually did the original narration and I had a couple of people come in my comments basically stating that a police officer did not have to articulate and if so he could do it whenever he felt like doing it and what I'm teaching is concept and not actual law glad that was said because I want to start off with the simple fact is law itself is not conceptual what I speak what I teach what I put out is not concept it is not theory it's not even my opinion these are actual court cases such as Howlett v. Rose it's a fact federal law and Supreme Court decisions are the supreme law of the land. I've even gone over other cases which pretty much backed up Howlett v. Rose in stating or in showing that federal codes and statutes override state and city statutes, codes, and ordinances. And the application is done via pretty much doing it and holding them accountable which in that video they should have been held accountable but now here is a couple of things because one guy stated that he couldn't find any law so I'm a guess that he did not look at my entire series because I started with the basics so after the welcome video I begin with law from video two on I started doing videos with the police officers involved because that allows you to get a, another section of learning as in you learn by seeing you learn by doing you also learn situational and in this case what I'm doing is offering reinforcement to the situations I've already proposed in previous videos now let's go with the simple facts a police officer takes an oath of office which means he is a fiduciary to the people he also has to uphold the Constitution of whatever state he or she is in as well as the Constitution of the United States in that there are these things called amendments the Bill of Rights and in these rights are police restrictions or government restrictions and as employees they have a fiduciary duty to the people, which means they have to act in the interest of the public. They have to act for the benefit of the public. And the person that they're encountering is the public. You cannot have a police officer walk up to you, grab you, and then say, give me your ID, and him not do anything else because if he does that it is unlawful and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up several cases that state that he must articulate and there must be a crime keeping it simple understanding this is what law is if he violates or breaches that duty or even if you ask him a question and he does not answer it is fraud period no exceptions which is probably why you see a lot of these auditor videos and the first thing they ask for is their name and badge number 
and most police officers. Say my name is such and such, my badge number is this and that. Because even if you understand that, then you understand it's not policy. It has to be law somewhere because they have to be accountable or amenable to the public at all times, no exceptions. While there are search and seizure rules that there are exceptions to, but again, those are situational. So when we're having a conversation and you're stating that law is not being followed or you don't understand something, and if you don't understand it, it does not mean it doesn't exist. I'm gonna recommend to get a full understanding. Start with the welcome video. Say hey to me. Do what you need to do. Then go video for video because I believe the first 20 are numbered. So it kind of keeps you in line where we're going with this. As well as go and make sure you understand the terms that are being used. Such as articulate, amenable, at all times, fiduciary. So I appreciate everybody that does log on, that does check. I appreciate my donors. What I'm going to end with today is leave a like, share the video, leave a comment. I'll try to answer each and every one of them. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Hit the bell icon so that way you can be notified when I upload new material. And if you wish to donate $1, $5, $10, $20, $50, $100, $1,000, there are several options that are afforded to you and those will be the pinned comment in the comment section. <laughs> so, keep in mind, I'm keeping it basic. I'm showing you everything that you need to know to move forward and arm yourself and to be protected. So, until next time.